Okay, so I guess this is just how I'm going to have to do videos on this camera, is to split them up in three or four parts. I am too long-winded for the memory of this camera, I guess. Um, so, yeah, back to Samhain and Halloween. Um, I have, you know, traditions that I've done every year. Oh my god, seriously. And they started when my sister was little, because I raised her and we were very poor, and... I wanted to make some type of memory for her, but that's not easy to do when you have no money. So she was, oh, by the way, I already made the fucking caramel apples. They're in the fridge. I bought fucking nine bags of caramel for four bags of apples, and it still wasn't enough. So I only was able to get 18 apples of caramel. And uh, at least everybody will get one, I guess, assuming they set up right. Last year they did not. But anyway. When my sister was really little, we had cable briefly, and it happened to be October, and she got all hung up on the, uh, the 13 Days of Halloween that's on ABC Family. So, the next year, when we didn't have cable, I just rented the movies, and, uh, on October the 1st, it has always been, for the last 17 years, Hocus Pocus Night, and October 31st has always been Nightmare Before Christmas Night. Other than that, she would pick a movie one night, I would pick a movie the other, and that's how we did it. And, uh, she loved it when she was little, and then as she grew older, it was me sitting there like, please come watch the movies with me. And her sitting there like, oh my god, I'm so fucking bored, I've seen this a million times. But, you know, that's how it goes with kids. You work your ass off to build traditions for them, they don't appreciate it, they move out, and, and that's that. Um, and now I get to do it all over again. <laughs> But, so, I've always had the movies going on, and, um, I've always had ritual traditions that I have, I, I don't know, invented. Like, because it's, November 1st is the New Year, um, I always burn down all of, and, uh, Samhain's Fire Festival. I always burn down all of my candles on Samhain night on my altar. And then I buy new ones for the 1st of November and, you know, all that good shit. Now, I didn't do that last year. I don't know why. I guess I just realized what a waste it is, but I kind of like it. I've done it for, oh goodness, about 13 years. And I just like the feeling of it. Even though it is a waste and it costs money and all that. I, I like the vibe of it. So, I'm going to do it again this year. And, uh... I think. Um, I have always done, which you guys heard me do, because I think I did the ritual for you on uh, sound in the, the vlog that I made two years ago. I have always done the, the uh, Silver Raven Wolf incantations for the, the Sabbaths. Um, well, since 2003 when I got Solitary Witch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not psychic. I had to wait till I bought the book like everybody else. But, um, the the addition of the Dane McCoy parts of it, that came later. That came around, I don't know, 2008, maybe. Uh, but now it's it's just part of the ritual. Um, I always put out the, the pictures of my, my den. And if I don't have a picture of somebody, I write their name down. Um, this year, Tony's grandpa died, who was like my other grandpa. I was raised with his dad's family, so I was raised with his grandpa, and he was not. And, uh, unfortunately, Bill will be put on the honor this year. And, um, I, if I had more time, more money, and more everything, I would probably do a dumb supper. I've always wanted to do that. And I personally... This is just my thing. Nobody else is just mine. Well, I mean, other people may feel this way too, but what I'm saying is it's not how you have to approach the situation. Um, me, personally, I feel like a dumb supper is only necessary if somebody has died throughout the, during that year. Um, and thankfully, my family has been really lucky since the decade that wiped out my whole family. We really haven't had to deal with much stuff, but... If I did, if I had the time and the money and all that, I would do it 
for Bill because he was my other grandpa and he was Tony's biological grandpa, which makes him River's great grandpa, you know. But um, I'm sure he'll know I'm thinking about him. Hopefully, he's probably too busy watching over his hellion grandchildren <laughs> and children. But um, oh yeah, and James, my my friend that I grew up with, passed away this year. James would laugh his ass off at a dumb supper and then tell me what a fucking waste of food that is. That's just how he was. He grew up really poor too, so I mean, like when he died and we were sitting there talking that whole day, he could not get over the fact that River has never had tap water and that I buy her her own little Gerber dinners and he just, he just couldn't get over it. He made fun of me so fucking bad. So fucking bad for that. So I can only imagine his reaction to a dumb supper. Um. <laughs> sorry, I'm grinning at the thought. But yeah, I, I do think that that would be cool to do if you have lost somebody during the year. Now, I'm, I'm sure there are people who do it every year. And that's totally cool. I'm, I'm not judging. It's just if I were going to do it and incorporate that into my, my rituals, I would do it, um if somebody had recently passed away. I'm trying to think of other things that I do. I always manage to fucking make hot dogs on Samhain. Samhain and summer solstice. I don't do it on purpose. I just always end up making hot dogs. And either potato salad or macaroni salad. Um, but that's more of a, a thing by accident than choice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it happens. Uh, caramel apples, of course, but that's more for Halloween than Samhain. I, I know they're the same thing, but then on the other hand, they're also drastically different. Halloween to me is, uh, I'm sorry guys, my fucking boobs just will not stay in this thing. It's driving me nuts. Like, I love this fucking dress, but it, it's driving me nuts. Um, to me, Halloween is, I don't know, like a time of revelry. And Samhain is more, oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? That's horrible. Y'all know what word I'm looking for because I used it in one of the other two videos, or both of the other two videos. So, um, Samhain is more salt for me. Not to say that there it can't be revelry in the, in the middle of a Samhain ritual, just that, to me, the energies, even though they happen on the exact same night, are two very different types of energies. And again, that could be the combined, you know, life and death and rebirth type deal. Because half of that is solid and half of that is not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't think of anything else that I do ritual-wise. The movies are probably the thing I've done the longest. Definitely the thing I've done the longest. Um, yeah. And I'm sure I'll come up with new shit for River, depending on what she likes and all that shit. And then she'll all grow it, and I'll be the lame one still doing it while she's going, Mom, do we really have to still do this? I know how this is going to go. Alright, guys. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I just wanted to finish the, the videos on Samhain and Halloween. And you guys know, if you ever have any questions about how I do anything... Um, I was really bummed that you guys couldn't make fucking caramel apples with me, but I had to upload the first video in order to delete it in order to finish this. So, I, I couldn't bring you guys with me for that. I will show you the caramel apples tomorrow, though, when I wake up and start the vlog. Oh my goodness, those lines are so bad tonight. Anyway, um... Yeah, so if you guys ever have any questions on how I do anything or what my opinion is on a certain thing or whatever, y'all know, all you have to do is write me. I'm an open book. And uh, even if you're not pagan and you just have questions about the way pagans celebrate Halloween, whatever the case is, just drop me a line and I will answer your question when I get five minutes to do so. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and that you go to a whole bunch of Halloween parties or just sit home and eat candy. Cheryl, I'm talking to you. You've got the right idea. <laughs> I love you guys.